Hi, it's Doc and Skip, brought to you by the best coffee at AmericanPrideRoasters.com. In the UK, 68-year-old Hinton Shireen is on trial, accused of nine counts of indecent exposure. But it's not him. He has a good explanation. Couldn't possibly be him. He's way too embarrassed to expose himself in public due to his unusually small penis. Okay, if he's willing to admit that, he may have a point. Which is worse, going to prison or having people know that you have an unusually small penis? According to Hinton Shireen, it's going to prison. See, it's not just a small penis. It's an unusually small penis. My question is, how do they make him prove it? His argument is, it's unusually small, and he'd be way too embarrassed for anybody to see it. See, he told cops, he said, I wouldn't want anybody to see it. I'm so embarrassed because it's unusually small, but couldn't he have used the unusually large defense? It's a much better defense. I'm just saying, if you have the option of being embarrassed by an unusually small, or un you just unusually, you know. Now, we probably all have a story about a time when we mouthed off to our mom. Doc, do you have a story about a time in which you mouthed off no, to your mom? No, no, no. I have many, many stories. Okay, a 13-year-old boy was disobeying his mom, lying to her about homework, and generally just not listening. Now, this kid makes a few bucks here and there from his YouTube channel and said to his unemployed mother, at least one of us makes money around here. Burn. Oh, no, you didn't. How do you think that played out for him? Well, if it was like my mom, I would have had my ass beat and I wouldn't have any money. She decided to strip his room of all toys, electronics, all of his cool clothes, even took his comforter and light bulb. She's also making him pay for rent, utilities, and internet. <laughs> well, at least one of them is actually paying the bills. Well, the boy wanted to be treated like a roommate, the mother was going to give him the opportunity. He's since renegotiated the contract back down to child status. A New York City bus driver was arrested for allegedly going on a drunken joyride down the Long Island Parkway in a bus on his day off. The driver on the bus goes glug, glug, glug. They checked his blood alcohol content, point two zero. The sirens on the cop car go, woo, woo, woo. See, most of us, when we get drunk on our day off, we don't go to work. I don't, I don't get it. The lock on the jail goes clink, clink, clink all over town. Thanks so much to our sponsor, American Pride Roasters at AmericanPrideRoasters.com. And please check out our morning radio show, details at TheBlaze.com slash Doc and Skip. It's a really good show. It's a good show. Really good. Parts of it are good.